Hey there, Ben Lipper here. Today, I wanna to show you how to code your robots to make them absolutely incredible. So if you've been tracking with me for a while, you already have the worksheet, go ahead, you know, keep watching through this. If you don't have the worksheet yet and you don't have the links to the other videos, you haven't finished setting up your robot, there's a link under this video, go ahead and click that, enter your email address. There's some setup we gotta do before you learn how to code the catapult, which is what we're gonna be doing today. So if you don't already have the worksheet and the other links, go ahead and click the link under this video, get that all sorted out. Otherwise, go and stick with me. We're gonna go ahead and code yourself a catapult. So here we are in our code. This is the code that we already had set up. Again, if you don't have this code, click the link under this video. You gotta get this code before this makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And we are going to code our catapult. Actually, I needed that. We're gonna go ahead and click into our controller. We're coding the catapult. So what you have to do is pull it off the controller here. So now there's blank. There's no catapult here. I've got the intake and tensioner on here. That's fine. And now it's time to go ahead and code our catapult. The way we want to code our catapult is we want it so that when we push a button on our controller, so when controller button, I'm gonna shoot using R up. So when controller button R up is pressed, I want it to shoot the catapult and then automatically reload it. So I'm gonna hit motion. And when R up is pressed, I'm gonna spin the catapult reverse. That's gonna shoot it. It only takes about 0.2 seconds to shoot. And then, I'm going to spin my catapult forward and that should reload it. That'll take about three seconds. And then I'm going to go ahead and stop my catapult. Now, you should be aware that this kind of catapult that I've just coded here is a ratchet catapult. This is the kind of catapult you'll find on a robot like Swish or Super Swish or something like that. If you have a robot that has a choo-choo catapult, this code will not work at all. It'll do absolutely nothing. It'll just It'll do some kind of weird shooting thing, then it won't reload properly. So if you have a choo-choo catapult, hang with me. We're going to do that later. So if you built misfire, drop shot, don't worry. We're, we're getting to that. But this is the code for a catapult kind of like this one. Um, so if you built this robot from instructions, this is the kind of catapult that you want to use. Cool. So that is actually all the code you need for it. I'm going to go ahead and hit this download button, download this to my robot, and let's go ahead and see how it works. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to the robot. I'm gonna go ahead and just load up my catapult. I'm gonna hit this shoot button. It's gonna go ahead and shoot that catapult and you'll see it automatically reloads. It doesn't quite pull down as much as it should. Um, it could pull down a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase that delay right there. So you can see here, I've got a delay for three seconds. Oh, maybe we'll do like 3.5. I don't know, that seems good. Download that. This knows decimals really well. So you're fine using decimals. We're gonna go ahead and run that code, and now you see when I shoot, it pulls all the way down. Nice. So I'm pretty happy with that. I like that catapult code. Um, the next thing that I would do is I'd do the intake and the tensioner. So like I said, that is gonna be in some separate videos. So go ahead, click the links under this video. If you don't have those videos yet, if you already clicked the link and you got the document, it's got all those videos. So go ahead, watch how to make this intake better and the tensioner better, because you'd need both of those. However, I did say that I was going to show you guys how to use a choo-choo mechanism. So let's go ahead and dive into that. So now if you have a robot that looks something more like this, you're going to have a choo-choo mechanism. And one thing that's really important is you have to have on your choo-choo mechanism some way of sensing when it's all the way at the bottom. I like to use a distance sensor. I used to use an optical sensor that's in some of my old videos. Um, distance sensors are way better nowadays as long as you use the Gen 2 distance sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and add this device. It's plugged in on port 3. So I'm going to go ahead and add distance second gen. The first gen distance is absolute garbage. Second gen on port 3. I'll just call it dist. That's going to be short for distance. I'll hit done. And the idea is this distance sensor, when the catapult is up, sees nothing. When the catapult is down, it sees the catapult. So when the catapult is up, it's going to be some number like 6 or 7. It's seeing the far side of the robot. When the catapult's down, it'll be like 1. So all you have to do is when you shoot the catapult, you're going to spin the catapult forward. You're going to wait until the catapult reaches the bottom. And then it's, you're going to stop the catapult. So there'll be a wait until and then stop the catapult. Now, what do we wait until? We wait until the catapult reaches the bottom. That basically means our distance sensor is less than about two inches. So if you're a millimeters guy, you can say um, 50 millimeters is about the same as two inches. So I like inches. Um, just because I have better feel for those, but you'd say that as well. You'd do 50 millimeters. One way or another, wait until the distance is less than two inches and then stop the catapult. So basically all this is going to do, you click the button, it's going to shoot and it's going to reload and it'll stop. Now this code actually won't work because what's going to happen is I'm going to click the button, the catapult will be at the bottom ready to shoot. It'll start spinning the motor forward. 
it'll check before the motor has like actually started spinning. It sent the signal, hey, motor, start spinning, but it's not actually gonna have a chance to start spinning. Instead, it will actually check to see if the catapult is reloaded. It'll move onto this block before the motor's really started spinning and shot the catapult, and it'll stop the catapult immediately. You won't see anything happen. So all that I like to do is I will add a wait a half a second here. There we go, just like that. And this should be all the code you need to make your catapult automatically shoot just the way mine does. Cool. So like I said before, if you are like, yes, this is awesome, and you need the code the rest of your robot, you want to figure out how I set this up initially, and you want to figure out how to code the drivetrain, the intake, the catapult, all that good stuff, there is a link under this video. Make sure you click that. If you've already clicked that and you're like, Ben, I'm coasting, that's awesome. Go ahead, get on to the next video, and I'll see you there.